Today I am testing some 3D prints, a drill guide, berry washer, berry picker, backpack hanger and even a collapsible DPU water bottle. Let's see how they actually work. This is the metric drill guide by VC Design, a 3D printed bar style guide for drills from 4 to 10 mm. It features a V-groove underside that keeps it steady whether you are drilling it round, flat or angular surfaces. One thing I noticed is that the filament between the holes and drill bits is just right. It's not too tight, so you don't struggle to insert the bit. But there's also not too much play. That little bit slack makes it really smooth to use while still keeping the drill bit guided accurately. If you want to drill exactly into the edge, it's difficult. Almost not doable. So is it good as advertised? Let's find out. I printed this guide with PTC filament. PLA, there's fine too. I printed it to a color which really helps the numbers stand out and makes them easier to read. But if you are keeping it simple, a single color works perfectly fine too. The hole lined up right in the center and it was super easy to do. Honestly, without the guide, my results wouldn't have been nearly as good. I also tried it on round object and it got same results. It works great. I had no problems at all and this definitely makes drilling much easier and more consistent. So the next one is a berry picker. This is a tool that makes picking berries like blueberries easier and faster. You can find many versions of these in stores. I have used both metal and plastic ones before, but this is the first time I have tried a 3D printed version. This model is a 3 part print. I used orange PTG for the main body and the PLA carbon fiber for the other parts. That turned out not to be the best choice and you will see why in a moment. The print itself went smoothly and the assembly was easy. It's 100% 3D printed so you don't need any extra hardware or glue. There's even an inner plate that opens and closes with a lever on top which helps keep the berries inside as you move around. I took it out to the forest to see if it's comparable with store-bought berry pickers. On the model page comments is a discussion about berry pickers being destructive to plants and uh, even illegal in some countries. The model creator has other opinion, so do I. In my country, berry pickers are not illegal and I have used them for years in the same spot without noticing fewer plants or berries. Of course, if you are a private field with planted bushes, picking berries will be illegal with or without berry pickers, but in state-owned forests or on your own plants, it's allowed. So, how does it work? Honestly, pretty well. It's usable and feels similar to the ones you can buy in store. That said, I did break one two during use. I did think that was my fault because I used PLA carbon fiber for the teeth. While it's strong, it's also brittle and the rough surfaces are more resistant when moving through the plants. And I found new friend. I printed out new parts with other filaments to see what works best. PLA carbon fiber I tried before. You can see it's quite brittle and snaps easily. PLA is quite flexible, but if you leave it in the hot car, it can go softer. PTG is flexible and it's hard to break it completely off. Last one is ABS. First bend felt promising, but it still snapped off. If you use it, you will probably not bend it so much. But it seems that PTG will be the best choice for this print. If you think TPU will be better, here's a 95A TPU 100% infill. So the berries are picked, and if you want to wash them, here's a 3D print that can make it easier. The Vortex Fruit Washer. I printed mine in PTG. The design does have a very large overhang at the bottom, so I used supports and I did a little post processing to clean it up. I also did a color change at the top. There are two sizes available. This one is the small size S, yes, but you can also print the larger version. To prevent small berries from escaping, you can also print a cap for the center hole. Using it is Using it is simple, just place it in the sink so the water from the faucet flows into the side opening. The water starts spinning around, 
creating a vortex. Then you add the berries and you can see they spin quite well. You can even control the spinning speed by adjusting the water flow. Pouring the water out is easy too. The walls are slightly tilted inwards and there are drainage slots at the bottom to help. In my opinion, this is a handy tool for a small amount of fruit. If you need to wash larger batches, it might not be the best option. Also, since the water needs to be still running during the use, it does consume quite a lot of water. If you cut the water apply, it will keep spinning for a while, but the water consumption is still quite big. Overall it can be useful, it's easy to use and not difficult to print either. Before we jump back into the prints, I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Most people know them for their professional PCB prototyping and assembly, but they also offer a wide range of manufacturing services like CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding and even 3D printing. So if you want to bring your design to life, whether it's an electronics, custom enclosure or parts you can't easily print at home, PCBWay is a great option. Starting September 1st, they are offering a free purple solder mask for an entire month, normally an upgraded option. This color is usually available at an extra cost, but throughout September it will be completely free. Also throughout September, they are running a special discount promotion on 3D printing with TPU material. Prints over 20 gram will enjoy increasing discounts as the part gets heavier with saving up to 80% off for larger orders. The next print is a backpack hanger. It's a really simple and easy print. It takes just a little over an hour to print and uses about 26 grams of filament. I printed mine with Bamboo Labs PLA carbon fiber filament and it fits my bag handle perfectly. If your handle is a different size, it's easy to resize the model in the slicer to match. I tested it with almost 8 kilograms of weight and it handled it just fine. I can't say how well it will hold up in the long run, but it feels solid. In my case, I store my backpack empty, so it's light and for that use, the hanger will definitely hold up great. Also, my closet rod can't handle much weight. Overall, this is a fast, easy and practical print, perfect for keeping your backpack off the floor and neatly stored. I printed a 6mm collapsible bottle, designed for hiking, camping or just carrying water on the go. The most interesting thing about this bottle is that when it's empty, you can collapse it down to less than a third of its full height. It seems to be working. I printed it with Bamboo Labs TPU 95A filament and cap is PLA. And now the addressed elephant in the room. Is it food safe? There are TPU filaments on the market that are rated as food contact safe. FDM 3D printing leaves microscopic caps and cavities between layers. Those tiny spaces can trap, the, trap bacteria and mold over time. So maybe it's best not to use this bottle for drinking water. It really comes down to your own choice. Folding part works, but is it watertight? Caps screwed on ok, but leaking water multiple places. Not good at all. It seemed to be under extrusion problem at the seam. But the cap seems to be watertight. It's not the design fault. The X1 isn't the best for TPU printing, but I tried again. I lowered the speed and changed retraction settings and reprinted it again. Seam looks much better, but there are still two spots leaking. It's not the seam anymore. There are two small random holes. I didn't want to print it again because I will not gonna use it, but I think it can be done watertight. So it's quite long 3D print and it can be difficult to print. At least I had problems. And I think it's not very practical print. If you want collapsible water bottle, I will go for a silicon one, which seems to be a better option. So if you like this kind of a video, and you also like to print something useful, you will find more similar videos at my YouTube channel.